everyone, welcome back. So today, look, my Dahlia Cafe Ole. She is gorgeous. She is blooming. I'm so excited. So I have this came up and I have some caladiums came up as well. And I'm pretty sure my other caladium is under here. I didn't realize it was, it was alive. I thought it was dead. So there's one, two of them coming up here. So it's going to be crowded. You guys, I don't like crowded. Like even right here with my... um. Verbenias, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical with that because it's places where snakes can hide. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. So I don't want it to be quite, I want to be able to see in between the plants because I don't want to create a sanctuary for those snakes. They have an entire preserve over there they can go hide and play in. So I'm planting up my red, white, and blue containers today. So I'm going to show you which two plants. And if you were following me along on my um, hunt at the big box store, I was on the hunt for some red, white, and blue containers. You guys saw those. It was Lowe's, Home Depot, Hagen Ace. Um, and I did find two. So I'm going to show you the two that I found and what I'm going to be doing with them. And I'm getting ready to change my porch around. I probably may do the porch tomorrow. may not be today because I still need... I promise you every porch decor I keep saying I'm going to get a rug because that rug I don't like. It is light and the dirt transfers over. So I want to get a darker rug. <laughs> so yeah. So I may do the porch tomorrow. I do have my things to change everything out though. And since it's going to rain today, I need to blow all the debris off because it's been so windy and raining. So everything keeps coming back onto the porch and the patio area. But let's get started. Oh, this is my bobo hydrant. If you remember, I got it from Home Depot. That's the whole reason I'm standing in front of the show to you. But look, she's doing great. So I have this one, this one, and I think I'm going to put, I may put two in the back. I'm not sure yet because it's for zone eight and I don't want it to burn. So they're here, they're under the tree. And look at my cafe LA. I have this one. The other one was supposed to be Suki Suki, Suki Nori. Let me bring it closer so you can see it. It looks a bit like a daisy. I'm like, huh, doesn't she look like a daisy? I need to come take them, but it may fill out some more, but we'll see. I'll give it another couple of blooms and let you know how it looks. And just like that, it started raining. So I had a run for cover. So I guess we won't be doing two containers today. We'll just be doing one. <laughs> and since this one's going to go right here, I'm just going to start it over here. So I won't have to lift it up and bring it in. Right, one. All right, so these two containers are gonna be up here. See, they're taller, so I don't have to worry about putting them on plant stands. I have my plants topping over like I was before. So I'm happy about that. Let me show you which um, plants I'm gonna put in there. Okay, so I'm gonna drill the holes. Well, I'm gonna hammer the holes. It says I can hammer it in, so. Oh, that was easy peasy. Look at that. Boop. Went right in. Now for the other one. Some of them are easier, easy like this. Some of them feel like they didn't pre-cut the hole for me. I'm gonna put a drill over here. Over here as well. Yeah, this one looks a lot harder. So we've got two drainage holes. And I'm fine with two because containers, they, the water dries out so fast in them. So we'll leave it at two. As long as it has drainage hole. Same for this one. Haha, -ha, got two holes. And good thing I remember because I would have filled this with soil and I would have completely forgotten that hey, you didn't put any um <laughs> potting soil, I mean holes in those container. And it'll be filled with soil. And no way to uh, dump all the soil to get it out so they're gonna go here and replace that i may push these over some more we'll see all right so i have this is supposed to be a drop um a dropping container but i'm going to put it in some potting soil and see how it does i think that's high enough actually i should make it a little bit higher no i think that's fine so that tight, and then I'm gonna backfill it with some more potting soil. 
Yep, I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna get these in the pot. Must have been dumped them upside down and get them in. Ooh, Ooh look at all that roots. So good thing I didn't leave it in there because they would have been suffocating. Look at that. Can you see it? All the roots are literally wrapping around each other. So I'm gonna tease it up a bit and then get them in there. So you know you have a new home, you can spread your roots. You do the same thing to this one. It was starting to come out too. So this is pretty much one of the ready fill. You pretty much pick your plant, pick your container, and drop it in, enjoy. But I think it will only last for a shorter period of time versus um, doing it this way putting it into a new pot. Oh, I've got a red, white, and blue. So now I'm gonna try and get the potting soil around, <laughs> around it now. You hear the birds? <laughs> it's raining. It's been raining for like the last two weeks every day. So that's why you haven't seen too many videos from me because I've been trying to get out in between rain. Like right now it's raining. And get stuff planted. And you know who is having a grand old time right now? The weeds in my garden. They are going crazy. They were like, there's weeds and fungus. Mushrooms actually. I don't think they're part of the fungus family. They're going crazy in the garden right now. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one as well. And this is my last bag of potting soil. So we, that means we have to go back to the garden center. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? I want to see if they have my um my hibiscus and my hydrangeas. I'm looking for more hydrangeas. So we're gonna see if they have some more. Put some on this side. But specifically my hibiscus, because I got two bobo hydrangeas. I showed you them earlier. So I'm excited about those. They're not meant for my zone. They're not meant for my zone. But we're trying to make it work. We had the little lime hydrangea as well. That wasn't meant for my zone, and it did great. Just had to create a similar climate <laughs> as what they have in zone 8. Back to some over here. Look at that, we have just about enough potting soil. But don't worry, I'll go tomorrow and get some more and top it off some more. Well, as long as I water them in, they will be good. All right, here it is. I know I said we're gonna do two containers. So there's only one set. I have another one to do, but it's been raining. So we're gonna do the other one. And I ran out of potting soil anyway, so I can't finish it. But I moved these over a little bit to the right to make space for that. Cause I like the elephant ears. They're looking like the green and the chocolate. Both of them look amazing together. So I just put them over a little bit and I've given up on the super tuna. They can do whatever they want. I'm going to come in and trim them up a little bit so that way they're not hanging on the ground, but it's going to start raining again. So I'm just trying to hurry now, but yay. And if you can see behind the pillow there, I have my red, white, and blue. I was going to do the porch today, but uh, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> either tomorrow or the day after but the next few videos that you guys see will be for the and this is a combination it's going to be um, memorial day and fourth of july because i'm keeping it for um all the way till july and i normally do that for the red white and blue containers there go my colors so pretty all right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in our next red, white, and blue video. Bye, happy gardening. <laughs>